I don't know that there's ever preparation to become a chief executive officer, but along the way you find different skill sets. And to be honest with you, most of those skill sets I learned in the Marine Corps. It's some of the best training in the world because you're really working with their physical, you're working with their mental, but you're working with their belief and a shared sense that we're here to really help each other. If you can take some of those things and transfer that into business, it works. My name is Jim Rowley, I'm 57 years old, and I am the Chief Executive Officer of Crunch Fitness. I generally wake up at 6.30 in the morning, and uh, I try to reflect a little bit on either the day ahead, or just be somewhat grateful, right, for, for the opportunity. It's not lost on me that I get to lead this organization. Like, I don't have to lead this organization. I get to because my partners, my, my team, uh, my investors trust me with that. And it's not lost on me. And I take a lot of responsibility with that. So I want to show some gratitude in the morning. After I use the bathroom and so forth, I will go turn on Fox Business. I want to see how the markets are doing. I'm an investor. I always have one cup of coffee in the morning. I'm on email by 7 a.m. So I'm, I'm checking my email. Because I live on the West Coast and my home office is on the East Coast, it's already 10 o'clock to them. So I'm usually, I've, I've got quite a few emails to catch up on. And then usually by 9 a.m., I'm in meetings the rest of the day. I Zoom a lot. I do work from home. Yeah, I have an office in New York City. So I come here every six weeks for a week. And, uh, but I work from home the rest of the time, or I, get, or I get out to my gyms. So I'll go to Texas, I'll go to Florida. We've got gyms in California that I drive to. I can be there in three hours. From nine to 12.30, it's usually Zoom after Zoom after Zoom. At 12.30 on Mondays, I change into my t-shirt and my shorts, and I head to Pilates, which is like a five minute drive. It's also, it's the greatest blessing in the world because I've been married for almost 30 years. We met as teenagers, so in the middle of the day, it gives me great joy to take a Pilates class with my wife. And then I'll come back, and then I'll shower, and then I'll eat protein, generally a protein shake, some chicken, some tuna salad, whatever it might be. I, I don't eat a lot of breakfast in the morning anymore. I follow kind of a modified uh, low carb diet. I wouldn't say it's keto, but I try. I feel like I do better with less carbohydrates. But I also know that when you're training, you need carbohydrates, you need macronutrients. You have to have protein, fat, and carbs. But I am a uh, proteinaholic. Like I, I, I really, I try to get, I weigh 230 pounds. So I try to get plus 200 grams of protein a day. And sometimes that's like, I'm just shoving eggs down at the end of the day. I love cheat days because it looks like a cheeseburger and I love cheeseburgers. I'm not a massive like cake, pie, cupcake, candy person. That's not a big deal for me. Like if I'm gonna cheat, it's gonna be, you know, a smash burger or a cheeseburger or whatever it might be. That's joyous for me. And then the rest of the day from 2.15 is when my assistant starts booking again. So from 2.15 till 5.30, 6 o'clock, um, I'll continue on. And then I'll take a break, usually go for a walk. We live right by Lake Tahoe, so I get joy in going down to the lake and, and uh, kind of having sat in an office all day. It's good to get outside and breathe some fresh air. We eat dinner somewhere around 7 p.m. And then I'm back on email from usually 8 p.m. till 9, 9.15 before I go to bed. I usually catch a little bit of sports or the news. Uh, I try to read as much as I can. I, I mostly find I'm reading on the weekends, not work days. I still work. I, 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 I do, I'll do emails till 11 o'clock at night. My mind continues, like even when I'm in shutdown mode or trying to be more passive. Look, I love business. I love it. It fuels me. It's not my entirety. My family is like my world and I love fitness and I love exercise. But team building and winning, man, I just, it just, it fills me. It fills my cup, to be honest with you. So I'm, I'm, a, I'm relatively consumed by it, to be honest with you. I don't think there's such a thing as work-life balance. I think, I think work-life balance is for somebody who's not committed. It depends on what your why is. Like if your why is really purposeful and goal-oriented, you're gonna find an imbalance in pursuit of that. Nobody ever walked like this perfect balance in pursuit of something great. You're either all in, or you're somewhat in, or you're not in at all. So for fun in my free time, I'm an avid snow skier, not a snowboarder, I'm a snow skier, keeping it old school. During the summer, we, we jet ski, we wakeboard, we wake surf, we're, we're out on our boat as much as we can on the weekends. And uh, if I have a light day, my wife and I will sneak out on Lake Tahoe and do, go for a jet ski ride when nobody's out on the lake during the week. Thank you.